Financial joins us as he does every day on the uh, big red couch. And there's, wait, there's breaking financial news, <laughs> right? There is breaking yeah. financial news this morning. Uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, we've talked about it here before about Best Buy, the founder, Richard Schultz, wanting to buy back the company yeah. uh, and take it private. Well, the company has agreed to allow him to and his investment group to go in and do their due diligence research. Wow. Basically go in and look at the books yeah. uh, and, and see if everything, if uh, that goes well, yeah, you know, that really company is an interesting financial back. story. If this guy who started the company can come back and privately make it work again, it'll That's be right. fascinating to see because they, they were really trying some creative things exactly. to try to save their bacon and they, exactly. and they failed. All right, let's talk about uh, Bethany's favorite company. Well, you know, I mean, what girl <laughs> doesn't get her heart all a Twitter when you start talking Tiffany's? That's right, Tiffany's. Uh, has just been great, and we've got a little bit, in, a bit, a little bit of that in my household as well. Uh, but they did announce their earnings this morning. They were they were slightly better. Second quarter was slightly better. Uh, did miss expectations, and they guided lower for the rest of the year, saying that commodity costs just to produce all the goods uh, is really affecting it. Plus, weakness in Europe and New York. But this is your favorite, Paul. They didn't lower enough. The stock is actually up about 6%. It wasn't as bad as what everybody so was expecting. It was bad, but it wasn't as exactly. bad as we thought it might be. Exactly. All right, sure. Uh, let's talk about some local companies, at least some right. big companies with local interests. Uh, first of all, Thermogenesis. Thermogenesis, based in Rancho Cordova. Right. They're a stem cell uh, research company and development right. company. They sold a, a division, uh, their wound care division, for about $2 million. It's going to strengthen their balance sheet and allow them to expand in their core blood blood work and uh, st uh, bone marrow uh, stem okay. cell research. So, okay. uh, big move there. Good for them. And the other one is actually an international company, uh, but with uh, headquarters for California in uh, right. Roseville. Right. Uh, big Dutch banking giant Rabobank uh, has been here about six years in, in Roseville. Uh, 20,000 square feet uh, was the size of their headquarters, uh, and this is their California base. They just signed a new lease to uh, have 62,000 square wow. feet. So tripling in just six years. They've got about 119 branches here in the state now and about $12 billion in assets. So nice to see a couple of local well, firms doing Now's good. a good time to be signing sweet lease deals. It's nice to see more office space getting gobbled up here yeah, too. That's exactly true. right. Good, good for everybody. Thank you. Uh, Thank uh, you. By the way, uh, what are we talking about tomorrow real quick? Tomorrow we have uh, some housing numbers, see how the housing market's doing across okay. the country. And we've got consumer confidence. We'll see oh, how confident everyone is about right. the market. And if you have any questions for Doug Emmett, he sticks around on Fridays and answers viewer questions. The email address is money at five Fox40.com, uh, send them a note, and uh, actually, if you'd like to work with them on your finances, you see the number there on your screen as well. And now here's Sheldon Orvis in the Atlantis Reno Traffic Center. Well, Bethany, we are.